Oh no. Just going to wait. Hi. Just going to wait a little bit that uh, more people gets online. Ciao. Hi. Hola. <laughs> so good morning everyone. I hope you're having a really nice morning. So I'm going to explain today's practice. It's going to be a vinyasa uh, and it's going to be inspired in our sangha quite a lot. So there's going to be some poses that are a little bit more advanced, but I'm going to just give different variations. But just if your practice is uh, starting right now, don't go to the fullest variation, just stay in the, the first variation, okay? So what I want you to grab is a yoga block. If you don't have a yoga block, I want you to grab a book, like a strong book that it will not open, or maybe a Tupperware. So whenever you're ready, I give you just like one minute for you to grab this support. And then I will meet you on the mat in a standing position because we're going to start with the sun salutations. So see you in a bit on the mat in a standing position. to bring your toes together and your heels slightly apart. I want you to bring that belly button towards your spine and roll your shoulders back and down. Bring the arms alongside your body and we're going to stay here for a couple of breaths. Just bringing yourself to the present moment. So just gently close your eyes. Just start breathing in and out through your nose. Just observing the air coming in and out through your body. If you feel hesitated or just your breath is fast, just try to breathe a little bit more deeply. Every time you breathe out, I want you to allow your body to let go. Let go any worries, any doubts right now. Whatever it is that is wandering around your mind these days, just drop it down over here. And just allow your breath to be soft and gentle into your body and out of your body. Now very slowly we're going to start activating that Ujjayi breath. It's breathing to the back of your throat, making that noise, the sound of the ocean into your throat. And I want you to try to keep this breathing throughout all the practice, breathing in and out to the back of your throat. Slowly, I want you to open your eyes, look forward. And we're going to start with sun salutation A. So we're going to inhale, bring the arms up, look up. Exhale, fall forward, bend your knees if you don't reach down. Inhale, chest up, look up. Exhale, step or jump back, Chaturanga. We're going to start bringing the knees down, chest in between your hands, chin down. Inhale, push with your hands up your away. Open your chest into a cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes and bring your hips up in downward facing dog. Stay here. Relax your shoulders down. I want you to look to your toes and your feet are hip width apart. With your hands, you push the floor away. Relax your head down. If your heels don't touch the ground, it doesn't matter. If your spine is not straight, I want you to bend your knees and bring the torso towards your thighs. 
The importance here is to keep a straight spine, relaxing your head down. One more breath here. Inhale and look up to your hands. Walk or jump in between your hands and lengthen the spine to the middle up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, come up, bringing the arms up and looking up to your hands. Exhale, same as the hit is, standing pose. Inhale, bring the arms up, look up. Exhale, fall forward. Look to your knees. Inhale, chest up, look up. Exhale, step or jump back, Shashuranga, bring your knees, chest in between your hands, chin down. Inhale, cobra, open your chest, look up. Exhale, tap your toes, bring your hips up in downward facing dog, stay here. Make sure that your hands are open, rounded towards the mat. The armpits are rotated, looking to each other, creating space in between your shoulders and your ears. Belly button towards your spine. Relax the head, breathing deep and breathe out fully, your jai breath. One more breath here. Inhale, look up to your hands, walk or jump. In between your hands and length of spine to the middle up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, come up, bringing the arms up and looking up to your hands. Exhale, Samasti Hichi, one more time. Inhale, bring the arms up, look up to your thumbs. Exhale, fall forward, look to your knees. Inhale, chest up, look up. Exhale, step or jump up, Shachuranga. Try to bring the body without your knees, looking always forward. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog, looking up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hips up, downward facing dog, stay here. Relax the neck, look to your toes or to your knees. Or even if you're in a more advanced practice, try to look all the way towards your belly button. Just keep pushing the floor away with your hands, trying to bring your hips up and towards the back. One more breath. Inhale, look up to your hands, walk or jump in between your hands and lengthen the spine to the middle up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, come up, bringing the arms up and looking up to your thumbs. Exhale, Samasthi Hiti, beautiful. Now we're going to go to Sun Salutation B. So we're going to inhale, bend your knees, bring the arms up, Utkanasana. Exhale, fall forward, look to your knees. Inhale, chest up, look up. Exhale, step or jump back, Chaturanga, controlling the way down. Inhale, open your chest up towards the cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot in between your hands, left heel 45 degrees. Bring your body up in warrior one. Look up to your hands. Exhale, Chaturanga, right foot to the back, controlling the way down, elbows in, looking forward. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot in between your hands, warrior one with your left knee bent. Bringing the whole body up, looking up. Exhale, Chaturanga, left foot to the back, controlling the way down, elbows in, belly button in. Inhale, cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, stay here. Come back to your breath. Breathing deep, you breathe up fully, you die breath. Relax your head, armpits looking to each other. If you feel the need to bend your knees, bend your knees.
One more breath. Inhale, look up to your hands. Walk or jump in between your hands and length the spine to the middle up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bend your knees, bring the arms up, Utkanasana. Exhale, Samasthihiti, standing pose. One more time. Inhale, bend your knees, bring the arms up, Utkanasana. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chest up, look up. Exhale, step or jump up, Chaturanga, controlling the way down, elbows in. Inhale, cobra, upward facing dog, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot in between your hands. Warrior one, bending your right knee, looking up to your hands. Exhale, Chaturanga, look forward, controlling with the exhalation the way down. Inhale, cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot in between your hands. Bring your whole body up in warrior one, bending into that left knee, looking up. Exhale, Chaturanga, left foot to the back. It's controlling the way down. Inhale, cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, stay here. Make sure that you're feeling like you're doing an inverted V with your body. If you feel that you're bringing your weight too much to your hands, just push with your hands that body away. Bend your knees and just keep that straight back. Whenever you're ready, you will be able to bring the hips down, but that's not the goal right now. Inhale, look up to your hands. Walk or jump in between your hands, laying the spine to the middle up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, bend your knees, bring the arms up. Utkanasana, stay in this pose. I want you to press your knees together, sit in your, on your heels, belly button towards your spine, hands towards the front, armpits looking to each other, relaxing those shoulders. Two more breaths here, breathing deeply, breathe out fully. Exhale, slowly fall forward. Now we're going to separate the feet hip width apart. Slowly we're going to come into Bakasana. So we're going to place our hands in front of you, grip the hands down. Slowly bring the heels up, bend those elbows and bring the knees towards your armpits. So you can stay here if you want, just balancing towards the front. And if in your practice you have Bakasana, we're going to come up into Bakasana. Looking forward, always don't look down towards the mat. Two more breaths here. And now slowly, wherever you are, we're going to come into a plank. If you're up here, you can try and jump into a plank or walk into a plank. Everyone inhale here. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra, upward facing dog, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here to breath, breathing deeply, breathe out fully. Coming back to your breath. Inhale and bring that right foot in between your hands. So we come to warrior one. Bending into that right knee, bringing your body up. Looking up to your hands. Stay here. I want you to try to bring that right hip to the back. Left hip to the front. So your body's, your hips are looking to short into the mat. Left heel, 45 degrees grounded towards the mat. Belly button in, look up to your hands. If your left knee is bending here, just rotate a bit more and bring the weight to the outside of your left foot. One 
One more breath here. And inhale, extend that front knee. Rotate your left heel, bring that heel up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend down, cactus arms, stay here. Crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Inhale, just bring the arms up, interlace your fingers here. Exhale here. Inhale, just lengthen your spine. Exhale, start rotating your torso towards the right. Inhale, length. Exhale, rotate to the right a bit more and stay here. Look to the back of your body. With your left foot, just push your body a little bit more forward. Inhale here. Exhale, arms to the, to like a T position, look to your right hand. Now exhale, palms of the hand together in the center of your heart. Inhale here. Exhale, left elbow to your right knee. Push with your hands and try to bring the hands in the middle of your chest. If this is too much, bring your left knee down, but make sure there's a space in between your thigh and your belly. You're not falling down to your thigh. If you have a more advanced variation, bringing your left hand down, right arm up, or even trying to make the bind, just choose whichever variation you have in your own practice. Two more breaths here. Slowly, if your left knee is down, inhale, left knee up, exhale here. Inhale, bring your whole body up, extend that front knee. And exhale, hands to your hips. Bring that left foot one step closer, 45 or 90 degrees. Hips look into the short edge of the mat. And we're going to inhale in the left arm up. Exhale, rotate your torso towards the right. And slowly bring that left hand to the inside or outside of your right foot. If you don't reach, just to your right leg. Push it down towards the earth and bring that right arm up towards the ceiling. Just trying to rotate your body. Towards the ceiling. Trying to push that right hip to the back. Left hip forward. Right arm brings the energy up towards the ceiling. You can be up here if you want. So was your leg. Two more breaths here. Every time you exit, try to rotate a bit more the chest up. Exhale, slowly bring your hand down. Bring that left foot a bit closer. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fall forward to your leg and bring the, the arms to the back. Grab your elbows. Look to your right toe. Bring in the weight to your right leg to square the hips. Beautiful. Stay there for two more breaths. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, rotate your body to the long side of the mat. Separate your feet a little bit more. Bring your toes inward. Keep grabbing those elbows. Inhale here. Exhale, fold forward. Relax in the head, the shoulders away from your ears. And bring in the weight towards your toes and not your heels. Two more breaths here, breathing deeply, breathe up fully. Inhale slowly, bring your whole body up. Exhale, release the arms towards the side. 
slowly we're going to rotate to the other side to the left foot into warrior one inhale the arms up exhale bending into that left knee your hips are not open here they're open to the short edge of the mat look up to your hands shoulders away from your ears right leg totally extended bringing the weight to the right edge of your right foot belly button towards your spine Bending into that left knee, trying to align that knee with your ankle. Two more breaths here. Now we're going to inhale, extend that left knee, rotate your right heel up towards the ceiling. Exhale and bend your left knee, open your chest, crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Inhale, the arms up, interlace your fingers. Inhale, left up. Exhale, start rotating just your torso to the left side of the mat. Exhale. Inhale, left up. Exhale, rotate a bit more and look to the back of the mat. Stay here. Active flex. Exhale, bring the arms in a T, extend the arms to the side, look to your left hand. Exhale, bring the hands in up, uh, the palms of the hands together next to your heart. Inhale here. Exhale, right elbow to your left knee. Push with your hands, try to bring the hands in the middle of your chest. This is too much. Oui. <laughs> right knee down. Make sure. There's space in between your belly and your thigh. If you want to go to a more advanced variation, try to bring that right hand down towards the mat, push up left arm up towards the ceiling. Or even if you can do the bind, rub that left leg. Opening your chest, looking up. Two more breaths here. Push with your right foot, your body a bit forward so you're not falling to the back. And slowly we're going to inhale and bring your whole body up. Extend that left knee. Exhale, bring the hands to your hips. Bring that right foot one step closer. Heel down and your foot 45 or 90 degrees. Keeps looking to the short edge of the mat. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, rotate the torso to the left. Slowly, right hand all the way down to the outside, inside, or to your leg if you don't reach. I just want you to project the energy all the way up towards the ceiling with your left hand. We're not collapsing down to your thigh or pushing the floor or your leg away. Your two legs are not, I, your two legs are extended. I don't want to see that the left knee is starting to bend. If this happens, bring the hand all the way up to your leg and then extend the leg. Look up to your left hand, belly button towards your spine to deepen into the pose. Left hip to the back, right hip forward. One more breath here. And exhale, slowly left hand down. Look up to your left foot. Bring your right foot one step closer. Inhale, length your spine. Exhale, arms to the back, grab your elbows. And just fall forward to your left leg. And squaring the hips, left hip to the back, right hip to the front. Look to your left toe. Breathe in deeply, breathe out fully. Our next inhalation, inhale and come up. Exhale slowly, coming to the front of the mat into side. 
Namaste Hiti. Relaxing the hands down. Rolling your shoulders back and down. Now from here, inhale, bring the arms up, look up. Exhale, fold forward. And from here, we're just going to walk all the way back into downward facing dog. We're going to stay here. So now we're going to go to pincha. So that people that don't have pincha, you can stay here in downward facing dog and then slowly do this exercise. Bring the elbows down, elbows in. Up, elbows down, elbows up. The people that are practicing pincha or they have pincha, you can go all the way up to pincha. And if you're practicing pincha, elbows down, read the hands down, look up to your hands and to your wrists, and then walk a bit forward your feet and then slowly from here, belly button towards your spine. Very important to look up to your hands. And then bring one leg up, slowly, just try. Then the other one and try. And if you feel like it to, try to bring your whole body up. Exhale, everyone, go all the way down to child pose. Two more breaths here. Bring your whole body to a plank. Exhale, Shatranga, controlling your way down. You can bring your knees down if you want. Inhale, Cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Relax your head down. Inhale, right foot in between your hands. Slowly bringing your whole body up, opening your hips to the long side of the mat. Exhale, bending your right knee into warrior two. Relaxing your shoulders, arms extended and activated, look into your right hand. So your right knee is tucked into your, into your heel. Belly button in, crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Slowly we're going to inhale, Pacific Warrior, bringing the body to the back, look into your right hand, bending into that right knee, inhale here, exhale here, inhale slowly bringing your whole body up, extending that front knee, bringing that left foot closer and slowly going down into Trikonasana, right hand to the inside of your right foot. Inhale, open your chest, left arm up towards the ceiling. If in your practice you have to grab your toe, stay here, but make sure you're not collapsing down and collapsing with your chest. The air energy opens your chest and your left hand goes up. If this is the case, just bring your right hand a bit more up towards your leg. to the 
front, look up to your left hand. More advanced variation, right hand to the outside of your right foot. Or even if you want, making the bind and opening your chest. Three more breaths here. Daily Batamine rips in. And slowly from here, inhale, bring your whole body up. Exhale, bend into that left knee, bringing your body down, hips down, opening your chest. If your body cannot go all the way down and just stay here, just stay here, but toes looking up towards the ceiling, stretching all your thigh. Slowly inhale, bring your whole body up. And exhale, rotate your left foot to the short edge of the mat and bend into that left knee, warrior two. Make sure your ball is going into the center of the mat. You're not going into the front or to, to the back. To the center of your body, belly bottom in, crown of the head up. Extend the arms to the side, roll your shoulders back and down. Look to your left hand, and your left knee goes to the outside, not to the inside. Inhale, reverse your warrior, Pacific warrior, bending into that left knee, looking up to your left hand, opening that left side of your body. Inhale here, exhale here. Inhale, slowly bring your whole body up, extending that left knee, right foot closer, and slowly bringing your body all the way to the left, and then down to Trikonasana right arm up. I don't want to see that you're collapsing down or your chest also is collapsing. I want you to project that whole energy towards the ceiling, rounding your right hip down. And imagine you have a wall in your back and you want to lean on that wall. You have to feel the sensation in that left leg and the belly button towards your spine working and activated. Two more breaths here. Just try to bring the right hand up like if someone is pulling you towards the ceiling. Slowly exhale, bend into that left knee. Bring the left hand in the inside of your left foot. Right leg is totally activated, bringing the weight to your right foot and making one line from your right foot all the way up to your right arm. If this is too much, grab a block to guide you aim head. If you want more advanced, just use whichever variation is in your normal practice. I don't want you to collapse down, chest up towards the ceiling, right hand up towards the front. If you want to make the bind, to stay here, three more breaths. Breathing deeply, bring that fully, shoulders away from the ears. And slowly inhale, bring your whole body up. Exhale, bending into that right knee, left heels up towards the ceiling, bringing your whole body down. And if you can open your chest up here, if you're here, it doesn't matter, it's the same benefits. Just listen to your body, open the chest if you can. Two more breaths here. Inhale slowly, bring your whole body up. 
Exhale, bring the arms to the back, interlace your fingers, bringing your feet a bit more open and bringing your toes inward. One leg to inhale, look up. Exhale and fall forward, bringing the crown of the head towards the mat, direction to the mat, and letting your arms fall towards the front, interlacing fingers. Here I want you to bring the weight towards your toes and not your hips. Don't be afraid of falling, you're not going to fall. Relax your shoulders, shoulders away from your ears. You're projecting your hips up towards the ceiling. Inhale slowly, bring your whole body up, vertebra by vertebra. And exhale, step in front of the mat, samastihiti. Stay here, close your eyes. Just breathe in deeply and breathe out fully, observing your body right now, observing the air coming in and out through your nose and your throat. Slowly, gentle, I want you to open your eyes. We're going to come to a balancing pose here. So I want you to ground your left foot down. We're going to inhale and bring that right knee up towards your chest. So the first variation is just to stay here, grabbing your knee. Second variation, left hand, left hand to your hip. Grab your big toe, but your thumb is not grabbing anything. Your thumb is free. And we're going to inhale and extend the leg in front of you. Roll your shoulder back and down. We're pushing with your left foot the ground away to straighten that leg. You can stay here and if your two legs are extended, you can fall forward to your leg. But relax in that shoulder and your elbow doesn't go to the outside, goes to the inside if you're falling forward. Belly button towards your spine, lengthening the spine towards the ceiling. One more breath here. And then slowly we're going to inhale, bring the right knee or right leg towards the right. Right hip grounded down. Your right heel rotates towards the left a little bit. Shoulders away from your ears. And you're grounding into that left foot. Inhale slowly, bring your knee or your leg to the front. Exhale, fall forward to your leg or to your knee. Inhale, hands to your hips, extend that right leg in front of you. Look to your toes, open your chest. Two. Three, that way comes from the belly, not from your leg. Four. And five. Exhale, let go. Very good, beautiful. Give a little shuffle to your legs. And just breathe in and breathe out. Beautiful. Now we're going to do the other leg. So make sure you're grounding into that right foot down. Roll your shoulders back and down. Remember, belly button towards your spine. And we're going to inhale, left knee up. Stay here. Or grab your big toe with your index and middle finger and slowly extend the leg in front of you. Shoulder back and down. If you're more advanced, fall forward, elbow into your leg. I cannot grab my big toe because the other toe is fractured still a bit. I just grab my outside of the foot. Inhale, slowly bring the left leg to the left, hip down, left heel rotated, 
to the right slightly. You can look to the front or look to the back, like to the right. Oh, I cannot grab that toe. towards the ceiling. Three, four, and five. Exhale, bring your left foot down. Beautiful. Relax, give a, a little shuffle to your legs. Now bring your toes together and hold them to do a vinyasa. Inhale. Bring the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chest up, look up. Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga, controlling the way down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now here, we're going to inhale and look up to your hands. If you know how to jump through, do it. If not, we're going to jump into a cross leg position in between our hands. Right foot forward, left foot to the back. Like this, and then slowly try to pass through your legs. Or walk. We're going to here roll your shoulders back and down. Look up to your toes, toes looking up towards the ceiling. We're going to inhale here. Exhale, fold forward. Grab your big toes. If you don't reach, bend your knees. I want you to roll your shoulders back and down. We're lengthening the spine. Every time you inhale, you lengthen your spine forward. And then exhale, go down. I, I would not look. Yeah. We're not looking to round the spine here. We're trying to length chest forward towards your knees, chin towards your feet. Belly button towards your spine to go deeper into that pose. Inhale, look up. Exhale here. Inhale, come up. Cross your legs, right leg in front. Bring the feet towards your gluteus. Hands next to your feet. Inhale, push with your hands your body away, bringing the hips up. And from here, I want you to jump or walk back into Chaturanga without trying to move the hands. And exhale, Chaturanga slowly. Inhale, Cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now inhale, look up to your hands. We're going to jump again into a cross leg, but now left leg in front. Slowly try to pass through your legs or walk. Or if you have the jump through in your practice, just do that. Now here, bend your right knee and allow the knee to fall to the sides. Your legs are 90 degrees. Hips slightly rotated to the left leg. We're going to inhale here, length up. Exhale, fall forward to your leg. Grab the outsides of your foot. Grab your ankle or your leg, wherever your body reaches without rounding the spine. We're going to inhale, look up. Exhale, fall forward, look up to your toes, stay here. Shoulders away from your ears. Every time to exhale, try to deepen into the pose, belly button towards your spine. Inhale. 
Inhale, look up. Exhale, here. Inhale, come up. Now change of side, extend that right leg, bend into that left knee and allow the knee to fall towards the left side. Your legs are 90 degrees. Inhale, lift your spine, exhale slightly, rotate your torso to the right leg. Inhale here, exhale and fall forward to your right leg, grab your ankle, grab your leg or grab the outside or bind in the back of your foot. Inhale, look up, exhale, fall forward, shoulders away from your ears, trying to ground that right leg down towards the earth. And just breathe in deeply, breathe out fully into Jai breath to the back of your throat. Inhale, look up. Exhale here. Inhale, come up. Slowly cross your legs, left leg in front, put in between your hands. Slowly, we're going to jump back, pushing with your hands, your hips up, walk or jump into a chaturanga, controlling your weight down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now jump or walk through whatever is in your practice, right leg in front now. Rolling your shoulders back and down. And here I come a bit closer to show you. So we're going to bend that right knee and bring the heel to the outside of your gluteus. So it's not in your thigh, it's to the outside. We're going to marry chasana A. Here, inhale, right arm up. Exhale, fall forward, slowly bringing that arm around palm of the hand rotated up towards the ceiling and slowly try to place it to the back of your body. Inhale, left arm up and try to bind your hands here. If this is not possible, just try to grab your, your t-shirt or your pants here. Inhale here, exhale, fall forward. Towards your knee, looking up to your toes. breaths here. Belly button towards your spine. Inhale, look up. Exhale here. Inhale and come up. Beautiful. Now Maritza Sana C rotating to the other side. So we're going to inhale left arm up. Exhale, start rotating your torso to the right. Slowly left elbow to your right knee and push that knee away from your elbow, extending that torso up. Inhale here, exhale, you can rotate a bit more. So you can stay here, first variation. Second variation, wrap that right leg and your right hand goes to your left thigh. Last variation. Make the bind. That left foot don't fall. It's straight up towards the ceiling. Every time you exhale, you try to rotate a bit more your body towards the right. Shoulders away from the ears. Crown of the head up towards the ceiling. And inhale slowly, look forward. Exhale here. And inhale, release. Beautiful. Now we're going to do the other leg. Bending into that left knee and bringing that heat to the outside of your gluteus. Length up, right leg rounded down, right knee, right foot looking up towards the ceiling. We're going to inhale here. 
exhale, fold forward, try to grab something that is in the front, slowly bring that left arm around, rotating that left hand towards the ceiling and placing it to the back of your body. Inhale, right arm up and go and meet your other hand. If this is not possible, just grab your t-shirt, your pants, whatever you have that is reachable. Inhale here, exhale, fold forward to your right leg. Looking up to your right foot, your right toes are activated, looking up towards the ceiling. Shoulders away from your ears, belly button towards your spine. You're trying to fold forward a bit deeper every time you exhale. Inhale, look up. Exhale here. Inhale and come up. Now slowly we're going to rotate to the other side. Inhale, bring that right arm up. Exhale, rotate your torso towards the left. Inhale, length back. Exhale, right elbow to your left knee. Inhale, length up. Push your body towards the left. You can stay here, first variation. Second variation, grab your left leg, right hand to your thigh. Looking always to the back, last variation, make the bind march as an asif. Breathing deeply, breathe out fully, belly button towards your spine to deepen into that pose. Try to twist a bit more, making sure that left foot is grounded down, it's not uh, going out of the earth of the ground or the mat. Two more breaths here. And inhale, look to the front. Exhale here. And inhale, slowly come back to the center. Bring the knees towards your chest. And slowly here, we're going to bring the legs 90 degrees into Navasana. Bringing the arms in front of you, shoulders away from your ears. First variation, second variation, extend the legs, pointing feet. I don't want you to fall down, open the chest and look up. We're going to stay here, eight breaths. One. Two. Three. Belly button towards your spine. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Exhale. Bend your knees towards your chest and give yourself a big hug. Relax your head down here. Just breathe in deeply and breathe out fully. Observing your heartbeat, observing your body right now. Giving yourself a big, big hug of love and kindness. Inhale and look up. Exhale slowly, allow the knees to fall to the side into a butterfly. And now from here, I want you to grab your feet and try to open your feet like if it was a book. Like if you were reading a book here. And we're going to inhale here. Exhale, chest towards your feet. And with your elbows, you push the knees down, but with not much pressure. And then exhale, relax the head down. And stay here, breathing deeply. Breathe up fully. Try to visualize and bring the intention of bringing the breath all the way down towards your hips and your legs. And when 
you breathe out, allow yourself to let go any worries, any old emotions that you're holding right now in your hips, whatever it is that is worrying you right now, any fears, any anger that you've been experiencing these days, I invite you to just drop it right now and allow it to let it go. Coming just to the present moment, your body moving, breathing and opening right now. So just relax your shoulders and your head, allowing just your breath to go in and out from your body. You don't have to do absolutely anything right now. Just breathe and feel. Three more breaths here, breathing deeply and breathe out fully. If it helps you to breathe out through your mouth, to just let go a little bit more, just Feel free to do so. One more. Inhale and very slowly, vertebra by vertebra, bring your torso up. Beautiful. And exhale, close your knees as if it were a book and give yourself another hug. Feeling that love and kindness you're bringing to your body right now. That self-love. And just saying thank you to your heart. Now I'm just going to disconnect because it's going to be one hour that we've been online and Instagram doesn't let me do live for more than one hour. So I'm going to disconnect and connect again just to the final poses for, the, for this practice. So you just have to do it with me. I will disconnect and then you have to reconnect with me. So see you in a couple of seconds. Okay, so 
So slowly, everyone go to the first variation. And we're going to inhale and first just come to a bridge. So first variation. Stay here for five breaths, pushing those hips up. Knees, imagine you have a block in between your knees and you want to squeeze that block. And your chest is going direction towards your nose. Three. Four. And five. Exhale, go down for one breath. Then slowly your next inhalation. Try to go to the next variation. And if in your practice you have the wheel, go to the wheel. If you're in the wheel, remember don't fall down towards your legs. Push with your feet the floor away. Try to extend the legs as much as you can. Opening your hip hands, elbows touching towards your, each other. And now, you, instead of the armpits looking to each other, they look away. One more breath here. Exhale, chin towards your chest. And then bring the crown of the head down if you're in the wind. Stay here, one breath. Inhale and come up to whichever variation you want. If it's too much for you, just come to a bridge. Hips up. Try to project the hips up towards the ceiling. It's five breaths. We're in the second breath here. Four. And five. Exhale, chin towards your chest. Slowly bring your whole body all the way down, vertebra by vertebra. The last thing that comes down is your coccyx. Then slowly knees towards your chest, giving yourself a big hug. And just balancing from one side to another, relaxing your shoulders down. Beautiful. Now slowly we're going to bring the legs up towards the ceiling. So if it's your first time practicing this pose and you don't want to go all the way up, you can just stay here. If you have the side pole and you feel like not doing it, neither, just stay here. If not, we're going to go to Sarvangasana shoulder stand. Push with your hands that floor away, bring your hips up, and with your hands you grab your middle back. From here, try to tuck your elbows in as much as possible closer. Pointing feet, strong legs, belly button towards your spine. We're going to stay here, looking up to your toes. Trying to bring that weight towards your shoulders. We're going to exhale and slowly bring your feet all the way to the back and down towards the mat. Into Hadasana. If your feet touch the ground, you can release the hands down to the mat, even if you let your fingers to deepen the pose. But if you don't reach the, the ground with your feet, keep supporting your back with your hands and you can even bend your knees to your forehead. In here, just stay here, breathing deep into your vertebra. Try to create space in between every single vertebra, allowing the energy to flow within your breath. Opening and allowing the energy to flow throughout your body and the spine. Here we're going to exhale and bring the knees towards your ears. Try to cover your ears with your knees. Just creating a little shelter to yourself. 
is what we call it a snail. So you create like a little house to yourself, warm, cozy, shelter where you feel protected. There's no harm or suffering right now. There's just yourself with your own energy and no one else. Breathing deep and breathe out fully softening into the pose. Knowing that you're in a safe place right now. That you are healthy. And that you are good enough. You are strong enough. And slowly we're going to inhale and bring the hands back to your middle back. Slowly bringing your legs up into a Sarvangasana again. And here I want you to go into a cross leg position. Like if you were um, sitting down in a cross leg, what would you do with your legs? If you have a half lotus, go into a half lotus. If you have that full lotus, go into a full lotus. If in your practice there is to push the knees away from your, with your hands, do so. If not, just stay with your hands in your back. slowly bring the hands all the way to the mat with your legs a uh, cross leg or lotus or half lotus push the hands away towards the mat slowly bringing the whole body down vertebra by vertebra belly button towards your spine strong body to go all the way down When you arrive all the way down, slowly bring your cross legs down, push with your elbows, bringing the chest up. And exhale, bringing the crown of the head towards the mat into a fish pose with cross legs. If you're in the lotus, grab your toes. If you're not binding in the lotus, just keep the hands into the mat, opening your chest. And just breathing deeply to your throat, Ujjayi breath. Three more here. One more. Exhale, slowly chin towards your chest, releasing the pose and bringing the knees up towards your chest, giving yourself a big hug. Balancing from one side to another. Giving yourself two or three breaths to feel your body, to feel whatever it is that it doesn't serve you right now and just let it go. And then slowly I want you to start um, going up and down with your body like if you were a little leg, a little bone. And then with the inertia, I want you to bring your whole body up. Beautiful. Now, we're going to come into your knees and we're going to go into a headstand. If you already practice a headstand, I want you to stay 10 breaths with your legs up and then five breaths, legs parallel to the mat and then five breaths up and then just rest into a child pose. If someone is not familiarized with a child pose, you can use the, the wall to do so. If someone doesn't really go up to a child pose, I'm just going to let you to that preparatory pose. And if someone wants to come with me into a, a headstand, uh, slowly, uh, step by step, just follow me. So the first thing, knowing that this part of your head is going to be connected to the ground. 
and with your hands you grab the back of the head. The way to go, the good alignment, is to grab your elbows a little bit more up from the elbows and really grab, not just like this, just really grab the elbows a little bit more up from the elbows. Then from there, we're going to bring the elbows down into all fours and then bring the hands in front of you and interlace your fingers, thumbs are looking up towards the ceiling. This part of your, of your hands are grabbing the back of your head. There you go. So here we're going to inhale and bring the hips up and try to walk your feet as much closer to your face that you can. So this is a preparatory pose. Shoulders away from your ears, they're not falling to your ears. So from here, if your knee goes to your chest and the other one goes to your chest, you're prepared to go up. If your body doesn't allow you to bring that knee towards your chest, just stay here in the preparatory pose. So one knee to your chest and the other one. Belly button towards your spine. Whenever you feel ready, one leg up and then the other one up. Belly button towards your spine. Remember, shoulders away from the ears. The shoulders are not falling to your ears. If you're starting in this pose, just do it with a wall to feel safe and not fall down and just enjoy yourself. If you're up and you're not familiarized with the pose, the way to go down is slowly one knee down, the other one down, leg down and leg down, and just come into a child pose. And just stay, just keep trying just a little bit, just play, just try to release any fear that you're feeling right now. And just try to play like if you were a kid, but, in, but also keeping safety, allowing the shoulders to go out from your ears and making sure that your body is prepared to go up. We're going to stay a couple of breaths more. And whenever you're ready, you have enough. I want you to stay in a child pose here for at least six breaths. If you're in a headstand still, just go down into a child pose. Stay here for five breaths more. Push the hands towards you, bringing the torso up and slowly releasing the body to one side and extending the legs in front of you. Beautiful. So now we're going to go prepare to the full lotus, but it doesn't mean that everyone has to go to the full lotus yet, but just the preparation. So first, bring the right leg down and you grab the left leg and just grab it as if it was a baby. If this is too much for you, just grab your right foot here. Wherever you are, push the leg towards your chest, lengthening the spine, and slowly balancing from one side to another, visualizing how you're bringing the breath all the way down to your left hip, trying to visualize that you're opening the left hip. This is the power of visualization. When you visualize something, really want to do it, it will happen. Might not happen immediately, but it will happen in time. Just have to visualize how are you going to get there.
slowly we're going to bring that left foot all the way towards your belly button and slowly try to place it towards your right hip if this is too much and your left knee is looking like this bring it all the way down to your calf if it's still looking up it's not releasing down just bring it down towards the mat just wherever you are bring the hands to your knees and we're going to breathe in deeply and breathe out fully three times letting go if you want to let go through your mouth, just do so. As you breathe out through your mouth, you allow yourself to let go even more. Last one. to open your eyes and we're going to change of side so just leave that left leg down bend into that right knee and grab the right leg as if it was a baby opening your chest lengthening up and from here balancing from one side to another there you go again using the power of this solid station and try to bring the breath all the way down to your right hip, opening your hip. Imagine that you had a baby right now in your arms, on your arms. Being very gentle and just balancing from one side to another. And then slowly bringing that right foot so with your navel and then place it wherever your knee is safe, wherever you feel comfortable and that knee can rest down. And then bringing the hands next to your knees, we're going to breathe in deep and breathe out fully three times again. If you want to do it throughout your mouth when we exhale, just do it to release a bit more. Two more. Beautiful. Now slowly open your eyes. So here, just if you have a half lotus, so right foot towards your left hip, I want you to extend that left leg and then slowly bend into that left knee and very gentle bring that left foot up place it towards your navel if you feel you're stuck here don't push it just stay in a half lotus if you feel you can just push it towards your body and slowly release it to your right thigh to your right hip coming into a full lotus if this is not possible, stay in half lotus. If you're here, stay here. If not, stay here. Wherever you are, we're going to bring the hands down towards the ground next to your hips. If you're in a half lotus, I want you to press the floor away and bring your hips up. Look forward. If you're in a half lotus, left foot down and you bring the hips up only. If your two feet are in the ground, you lift up only the hips and look forward. So whenever I say, we're going to inhale and stay for eight breaths. Slowly, inhale, come up. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. Exhale and let go. And then slowly I want you to close your eyes. If that, that full lotus is too much, release the lotus. And then slowly bring your right hand to your heart. Left hand on top of your right hand. 
And here, just breathing deeply and breathe out fully. Just connecting with your heart. Observing your heartbeat. Observing how the chest expands every time you inhale and how it falls down every time you exhale, releasing any unwanted energy from your body and from your heart right now. And I want you to say this out loud or to yourself. Say to your heart, directly to your heart. I love you and say your name. I love you, Lucia. Just say your own name. You are good enough. I love you, Lucia. And just truly believe what you're saying to yourself. Just bring love and kindness to your body. And just believe in yourself. I love you. Sophia, you are good enough. Smiling directly to your heart. You are good enough. And I love you. I am grateful for who I am and who am I becoming. I am grateful to have this beautiful body that carries me and supports me every single day. That allows me to move and to breathe, to feel. So just thank you. Thank you for being there every day, every second. your own rhythm whenever you're ready. We're going to just go all the way down into Shavasana. Untangling your, unfolding your legs and coming all the way down into a resting pose, laying down into the mat. Allowing your legs to be a bit more open up the hip width apart. Allowing your feet to fall towards the sides. Allowing your legs to feel heavy down towards the earth. And just relaxing and opening your hips. Relaxing every single muscle from your belly. And just allowing your shoulders to fall heavy towards the earth. Lengthening your, le your neck, releasing any tension and tightness from your jaw, just relaxing your ears and in between your eyebrows center. And just staying here with your own body, allowing it to fall heavy towards the earth, knowing that the earth is supporting you right now. That you just have to breathe and let go. That's the only task for you right now. And just stay here, breathe in deeply, breathe out fully.
now I invite you to stay here in this pose as long as you want. This is a very important pose, the most important throughout all the practice. Just try to stay as long as possible. And just thank you for joining my class and see you next time. Namaste. If you have any questions, just feel free to message me.